outside but it doesn't have to feel chilly outside when you got a beautiful warm home like we do here at 32 ash crescent so excited to be presenting this property to you today in my sweater after a hot chocolate so much to show you and i'm glad you're along for the ride coming right inside we got a foyer here it's very warm and welcoming you could put a full length glass door in here and really blast this area with light but i do love these kind of detailed windows right here kind of keeping it warm and insular big huge front hall closet here which is so rare usually we're just spilling into the space but not here at 32 ash crescent and of course you got tons of room out here for that hooks for the boots and all that stuff when you come right inside not to mention that massive front porch for bikes and strollers and all those family friendly items we're gonna need not to mention sitting out there to have a glass of wine watching those kids play road hockey gotta love it that's the foyer. Let's keep moving and show you a little bit more of this house. Coming into our brand new or almost brand new kitchen renovated in the last two years. Love these quartz waterfall countertop kind of island peninsula we got set up here. We got the undermount composite sink with the view of that beautiful down by the lake yard. Gotta love that. And continuing around to our gas range. Love that the vent is also a microwave really being totally functional in here with the beautiful custom cabinetry in here really well thought out every last detail thought of spice rack pull out big pot drawers coming down here built-in dishwasher over here to my left tons of room up and down and even pantries built in here over to the side love having that space walking across our wide plank white oak hardwood you're gonna love seeing this it's pre-engineered so it's gonna last the test of time it's not gonna shrink and expand on you but you got that real wood top which is what everyone's after right now French door refrigerator we got the water we got the ice we got the big freezer below this is what everyone's after and you know it and I love this combo here love seeing these floating shelves and I love how it all flows perfectly over to our dining room space check this out beautiful walk out here the big double glass slider welcoming the space pouring the light in we got the one two three pull up stools here which is the dream friends here having a glass of wine you're getting dinner ready on a friday night heck it could be any night of the week you're going to be doing some entertaining in a house like this of course this flows right over into this dining room space. It's a really generous sized dining room. One, two, three, four, five, six in here right now, but you can see all the space in the world over here. And there's a ton of space over here behind the cameraman. So if you're an eight seater family, do not worry. An eight seater is gonna fit in here, no problem. Same beautiful white oak flooring, bringing us from that double glass sliders bringing that light through into our double pocket door. Gotta love this. Giving us the view into the loveliest living room in all of Long Branch. Check this out. Same lovely flooring coming right on in here. And this is that big, luxurious, focal pointed living space that we're all after. Check out the big couch in here. You're really gonna lounge, you're gonna enjoy it. Now you could have a TV in here on either side of the fireplace or above the fireplace. However, we got a dugout basement with in-floor heating and a full bathroom and laundry and everything down there, including the ideal media room where you're just gonna wanna watch those big screen films. Look at these inset windows, one, two, three, the charm, the character, the little bit of craftsmanship that's going into a house like this. And of course, these windows give us the view of that porch and they also have blinds on them. Now these blinds are throughout the house, people. These are the types of things you're gonna see here at 32 Ash Crescent. A tremendous amount of thought and precision has been put into the house and also a lot of money to make it the house that it is. Fully renovated in the last couple of years, all new electrical, all new plumbing, dugout, basement, in-floor heating, new kitchen, new bathrooms. You know what I'm talking about. Love seeing this original feature, however, the brick fireplace all painted out. We got an electric insert in here, but of course, if you're a gas family, you can put a gas family insert in here, maybe a wood insert. Talk to your city 
get the permit you want to do. Otherwise, it's lovely just to have this little bit of heat coming from the electric insert, a little bit of glow, and that's going to serve you all through the winter, through those holidays, and into the spring. Love seeing that. More room over here, the double chairs giving you the view of our focal point. And again, look at these windows on either side of our fireplace. Book matched windows, and these are of the original era of the house, but you can see there's been new glass panes put inside since this original build, and you get the privacy there, but you also get the natural light. Falling in love with this main level, the quintessential long branch that everyone's after, front porch, backyard, down by the lake, south of Lakeshore, on Ash Crescent, a lovely large boulevard street where you can walk and really feel the panache of this neighborhood. Now that you've seen the main floor, it's time to show you the upstairs bedrooms and new bathroom. First, I'm gonna stop really quick and mention we got a really expensive runner going up these stairs. These stairs have been completely reclad and even given a new banister here. And look at this, new spindles all painted out and our railing is matching, our post is matching our white oak flooring. These are things that you just don't think about. And as I even express that, I'm looking around in here and I'm seeing new handles on everything, new light switch plates, and even that Nest thermostat. Let's keep going. So I'll give you the lay of the land up here, not to mention the fact that we're on that same expensive hardwood, that pre-engineered white oak hardwood up here. Just these are the things where that money really starts to spiral through the house and you can feel the quality under your feet. Gotta mention it. Okay, lay of the land. Big brand new bathroom off to my right, Mexican tile, custom shower. You're gonna fall in love with that. Behind me, we got a big bedroom with that view of our rear yard and a huge bedroom off to my left. Right behind the cameraman, what do we have? We have the principal with the king size bed in the double closet, and I think we should start there. This could be one of the pages on my website, the principal suite with the one, two, three, four, five beautiful windows, the big ledge that runs all the way across, and I'm getting the view of that mature foliage, those big trees, that vintage feel of this neighborhood down by the lake, which is the very reason that people want to be in this area. Gotta fall in love. Big, huge room here. Tons of room. In fact, we actually had an office space set up here because of work from home, two people working from home. We struck that for the purpose of sale, but just showcased how big it was. You got a king size bed, you got this focal point of an old fireplace which could be refurbished. I love the way it's being used right now, but you get the idea. You could put an insert in here. You could do a lot with this, but you wanna keep that focal point. It's just so much charm and it's a throwback to that old long branch. Nice high ceilings in here, slight vault at the front giving us that charm. Rewired one, two, three, four pot lights in here and a center pendant. Love this fixture. Look at how beautifully situated this king size is. Oversized side tables, matching sconces, and I love that color block and texture that's provided by that wallpaper. Not to mention double closets. Look how deep these closets are. No problem getting right in here for that good old fashioned hide and go seek. Now these are solid core doors. You can feel that, you can feel the weight on them. You can feel the quality even just as you open and close the door. And that's the feeling you're gonna get here at 32 Ash, this overall feeling of quality and expenditure that's gone into a property like this. Unbeatable. Let's keep going. Really great secondary bedroom in here. Full queen size bed. We've got the double side tables. Love this window in here, and yes, of course, there's a big closet as well. Extra deep, a little bit of a vault. You can see this is where you're gonna put your house coat. Same lovely flooring in here, also rewired with the pot lights, just little features that really modernize this house. Classic shell, brand new center. You know what I'm talking about. Love this bedroom, got our attic cash here, so yes, you wanna have an inspection or you wanna have someone come through, it's no problem to access the belly of the beast and see how great this place really is down to the core. Okay, let's see another bedroom. Another lovely bedroom in here, another beautiful color blocked wall with that wallpaper, chair rail around this one, adding the extra charm, extra deep 
window seat, love that, or at least ledge where you can kind of rest and hang out. Great office space, great bedroom, obviously being used as a nursery right now. We got the full closet, room for the crib, room for the folding table, room for the changing table. You get the idea and look at that same kind of mirroring of what's going on in the front, going on in the back, giving us the view of our winter wonderland out there. One, two, three, and yes, they got the blinds, beautiful wallpaper, all these little details all over, really kind of honing in each and every room in this house, making it special. Speaking of special, you gotta check out this bathroom. Come check this out. Just, this is an incredible bathroom. Spanish tiles on the floors, big oversized vanity here with the quartz countertop, undermount sink, and this stand-up chevron shower, custom glass, shelving, the perfect privacy window, the spot for the throne. You gotta love it. Now, do not worry. Yes, we all agree this is the perfect bathroom, but someone might be saying, oh, well, I need a tub. Well, there is a massive tub and yet another fully renovated, beautiful bathroom that's gonna just explode your face when you see it. And we're gonna go downstairs and take a look at this lower level right now. Let's go. I'll stop you really quick. Love the side entrance here. Great for coming in with groceries right into that kitchen. Also great should you need some sort of in-law suite set up here. You got the separate side entrance, you got the full bathroom down there, you got laundry down here, and you got a wide open dugout space with in-floor heating. Let's check it out. So normally I don't go right into the lower level bathroom, but when the bathroom is this nice, I certainly do. Check out another chevron tile. Love how the designer here is matched upstairs with downstairs. They're different, but there's a similar theme and that's so important for good design to see that theme created throughout the house so that it flows perfectly together cohesively. White down here, really bringing us some of that spa feel. Looks great with this kind of marble porcelain tile that's in this big walk-in shower. Brass fittings in here. Love this custom glass swing out. You know, making it feel expensive. No shower curtain for these guys. And matching with our quartz countertop here on a lovely navy vanity. Love that. Matching, great mirror in here. Love this up top light, giving us that perfect look at ourselves. Window, privacy, great spot for the throne, and even wainscoting in here. Oh, and what's that on my toesies? That's the in-floor heating, water in-floor heating throughout the slab in this basement that really adds that extra panache. Let's go see the rest. This is the extra real estate for this house. Look at these ceilings. You know, what am I? I was about to give you my, my height. Look, you know, I'm almost six feet tall. You gotta love that. You can see we got at least eight foot ceilings down here. We got full storage across the back. I'm gonna get into the details of the services in the laundry room in a little bit, but just look, this is where you're getting the 100 inch screen TV, the sectional, hanging out at night, playing video games, watching those movies into the wee hours of Saturday and Sunday. Gotta love that. Perfect spot for that secondary office down here. And because we're high and dry and this feels like extra added value of the lowered basement, you don't have to be on your Peloton just under the basement ceiling going, it's barely working, which I see all the time, not here. You're gonna stand right up. This is gonna hurt my feet, but I'm gonna do it anyway. You're gonna stand right up at full height and not even come close to hitting your head on that ceiling. Love this basement. So. Underneath the stairs, there's a full length storage closet following that stair footprint. Behind the cameraman, let's flip it around. More storage. If only I didn't have more to do today, I would be watching one of my favorite movies and having a beverage. Storage, 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 all the way across here, which is essential. You wanna use that basement, but you still need that utility. Let's keep going. Great laundry set up down here, front loaders, we all want those. Tons and tons of neat and tidy storage here to the right hand side, even more here in a shelving unit. And this takes us through to our service room. Check this out, 
more storage in here. Now this is where you're gonna see new furnace, on-demand hot water, pressure tank. You can see all the lines going into the flooring and I can vouch for the contractor who did this underpin. He's the best in the city. I'm not giving you his name because I need him. I need him on a lot of other projects, but you get the idea. It's been done perfectly around here and you wanna come and check it out because it's exciting and it really feels like it's been done for you. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's keep going. Now the floors down here, they're vinyl. That's what you should have in a lower level. This whole underpinned basement would have an interior waterproofing system or water catchment system that takes everything to a sump pump so you're not getting any moisture down here. Still, you want that vinyl. The vinyl matches the white oak look that we have upstairs. Again, cohesive design, one, two, three levels, tying it all together in a perfect fashion. The same redone stairs coming down to the basement that we have on that second level, really bringing the value and the renovation quality all the way down to the basement, not cheaping out just because it's a basement or lower level staircase. You're seeing the theme throughout and you're seeing that the money was spent on every single floor. All right, let's go outside and take a look at this yard. Coming out that double glass slider down onto our oversized entertaining deck. And this is where you're gonna grill. Hey, where do pirates like to have their barbecues? In the yard, you get it. Big seater here, six people, you're gonna get eight. You could also get that outdoor sectional and the umbrella. You got all the space. And then it walks down, of course, into our big, massive, look at this. Just goes on and on. Lovely, fully fenced yard here. Goes even further back to our storage. And there's kind of a lean-to setup here for our wheelbarrows and all that stuff. Because yes, these people like to garden and they like to use this outdoor space all spring, summer, and autumn long. And I know with their little guy, they were out here in the winter as well. Love this. Lots of privacy here. So close to walking up to Lakeshore and yet so close to that lake. And you're really feeling the community down here. I love this type of thing. We got the ivy growing over. Birds are flying around right now. The snowflakes are whirling around in the air. I really hope that you're getting the vibe for this property here at 32 Ash. All right, let's go out front, talk a little bit about this parking, and then go inside where it's warm, talk a bit more about this house and why you gotta get to Long Branch. So we're out front right now. We're getting that view of the front porch and we are on the parking pad that exists at the front. You're gonna get one, two cars in here, certainly one big one and a compact one. All this right here encapsulated in the perfect property in Long Branch, guys. What am I talking about? I'm talking about opportunity. Okay, let's get inside in that toasty warm air and talk a little bit more. So, Long Branch, it's on your list. You're thinking of the area. Why are you thinking on the area? Well, I'll come out and say it. It's got the best strip of Lakeshore in all of W6. Not to mention access to the Long Branch GO train, which is right there. You can walk to parks, you can walk to the lake, and you have these big, beautiful boulevard streets. This is a very close-knit, private neighborhood where the neighbors stick together and watch each other's backs. We got schools, we got access to the main throughways of the city. You're right up to Sherway, you're right up to Farm Boy. You got no frills, you got the LCBO. Everything is right here at your doorstep. And man, we know we haven't even seen the property values grow the way that they're gonna grow, being down here by the lake, right between downtown Toronto and lovely Port Credit. So that's a little bit about the area. If you need more info, give me a call, have your agent reach out to me. As far as this house goes, well, you have that perfect three bedroom, two bathroom home that everyone's after, but you have these extras. One, fully renovated every floor, new plumbing, electrical, kitchen, bathrooms, and all the trimmings. You got the walk out to the yard, you have parking, you have one of the best streets in all of Long Branch. Now, the big thing here, the home run, the grand slam, is that fully dug out basement in-floor heating, water catchment system, all the things that cost the big bucks. Just to dig the basement out without finishing it or anything would probably run you around $75,000. That's just 
to dig it out and pour some concrete. It's beautifully finished down there. Drywall, lighting, closets, that bathroom, oh my God, and of course that vinyl flooring. This house really has the warm fuzzies. It's approachable, it's what everyone likes. You can just kind of tell if, if this place was a restaurant, all different people from all different walks of life would be eating here because it really suits so many different needs all in one. For me, you can feel the family culture here. You can feel that there's love in this house. You can feel the old world charm and you can feel the security of every last thing completely renovated the way it should be. So I'm thinking it's January and I haven't done a polar bear dip yet. So I might just go down to the lakefront, strip down to my swimming trunks and jump in that frigid Lake Ontario. How refreshing. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'll probably stay here and have a hot chocolate. But you guys, you gotta get the heck out of here. So, 